Hi everyone. Um, this is the room behind the stage in the new art centre. Um, so I, I come down for four days a week and I sleep in the tent here. Uh, it saves me driving up north and on the islands it's a, and back again, uh, driving down and up again in the, in the day. So it's easier for me. So I can get an early start in the morning then uh, and I can work late in the evenings. So this is our one of the stray dogs who seems to have adopted us. He stays in the call in here during the day. And there's another one somewhere, there's two of them. So this is underneath the stage here. So we can use it as, we started using it as storage, which is brilliant. Um, this is Mahmoud, the famous. <laughs> Um, yeah, he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, fantastic artist. So what we're doing here, Mahmoud's going to paint a drawer, everyone's faces, uh, all the volunteers and stuff along the walls. We hopefully we get 30 plus faces. We hope uh, along this stretch here, uh, and maybe. We'll see, but maybe we can put a few up here. Joseph is, um, have done these. Joseph's just gone over to Moria. He needs some paperwork or something. So, but Joseph drew these this week. Really good. Uh, Sudanese warrior and Sudanese lady. Uh, and it's been nice to watch Joseph uh, drawing these because he's, he got really involved in the culture and everything else and it worked. Uh, it's, it's his people in any of us, but it's really nice to watch the way he's really got involved. Uh, so up the stairs we go. Oh. So I've just got a couple more bits to do up on top here just to fill. But basically that's it, the stage is finished, the back wall's done. Uh, and this is melamine here. So we can show uh, videos or films or things on the back, back of the stage, no problem. Um, so we started making tables this week. Um, and there's the tables with melamine tops. So we can clean them. And hopefully next week, if we get some help from Help International, we will get them to paint underneath the tables brown legs and stuff. And I want to put a couple of shelves here above the tables um, so people can store their paints and stuff. We need to get little trestles. I, um, uh, if anyone can help me with little trestles, um, table trestles uh, for painting, put in canvases on. I think Amazon does them, I'm not too sure, but um, we'll have to have a look. Um, and McMood's almost finished, the big one. So he's just got a few bits and pieces he'd like to do. Um, and then we'll seal it and it'll be done. Uh, Help International has been painting the walls and we filled all the holes and got all the copper pipes out of the way, etc, etc. Um, and the next big step now, I mean for for the Hope Project is, is raising the uh, finances to buy some chairs. We thought, you know, plastic chairs, the ones you can stack into each other, the, like the garden furniture would be ideal, uh, because then we can stack them up against the walls when we need the center space, if we need the center space for um, yoga or something like that. I mean, there's always gonna be times when we're gonna need this space, even for a dancing or whatever. Um, so, is Nabil? Say hello, Nabil. Hello, <laughs> He's been a breath of fresh air. He really has this week. Uh, he's had everyone laughing next door and everything. He started with us on uh, Tuesday, uh, Monday, yeah, and he's been incredible. He's a really hard worker in the warehouse next door. Uh, and he's had everyone laughing. He's had the refugees laughing. And I think that's... <laughs> he's full of energy, full of energy. But it's nice to have, it's nice to have. And nice to see. And, and Nabil's been here two years. You know, he's been stuck on the island two years. So, 
Um, anyway, the arts project, you know, it, it's coming. Another week, and I would have said we're there. We want to paint the outside the building. Uh, the doors and that, there's a rust and stuff on, we want to sand down and paint. Um, but I think by next Friday, we, if I do another four days down here, three days down here, we'll almost be there. It's mainly painting and just fixing bits and pieces now. Uh, and then we've got to put a program together of how we're going to run it. Uh, I mean, we won't be running it, me and Philippa, but the refugees will be running it. And so, you know, for different groups on the island that need, uh, like for guitar and piano and things like this, um, it would be great, you know. Um, and hopefully we'll have the electricity on by next week. Uh, Uli's gone down today from the Spanish food truck and seeing if he can uh, sort it out today. Um, so a bit of luck, we get the electricity put on. Uh, I have to speak to Father Christophilus because Father said he would like to do the sound. Um, so I will have to speak to him in the next few days and maybe show him the video as well. Uh, a bit. So yeah, I mean, I think we've, we've done very well. You know, considering it's been, what, three weeks, uh, we've done an incredible job building the stage and everything else and the tables. And, uh, I think we've done it, we've done extremely, extremely well. Um, yeah, incredible. And it, it basically, it's been, we've had uh, Emmanuel from uh, Sweden and Chloe came, they were volunteers, they came to help us for a week. And uh, they leave, they left yesterday. But um, other than that, it's all been uh, refugees, you know, they've been doing all the building and everything else um, so it's been very very good very good and it's good for them as well because they've all taken pride in their work and everything else and they've all learned how to use different machinery and and stuff like that so it's it's been been great fun really at the end of the day um, so i'm looking for forward to it up and running it's really nice to have a positive project for once because always we're fighting uh, this negativity constantly, you know, it's, it's a constant uphill struggle from the authorities, from the aid agencies, from the NGOs, uh, and then the depression and stuff from refugees and everything else. And that's what this is for, really, trying to stop the depression and, and give people something to look forward to, to you know. Um, there are refugees have come and said to me, you know, they, they've trained in theatre and things like this and music and... So we'll get the refugees teaching, they'll be the teachers in here, they will teach uh, other refugees how to play guitar, etc. And how to do painting. But Mudu, I spoke to this morning, and Joseph, and they would like to be the two teachers for the, for the arts, for the painting and that. So, and I'm sure there'll be other people coming in wanting to use the space for other things. Um, and we'd like to do sort of master classes, so if anyone wants to come down and uh, will come to Lesbos for a week or so and teach some master classes for a few hours a day. It'd be great on one subject or another, e photography or whatever. We've had uh, one interest in photography. Uh, I had a guy this morning, he's on about uh, film making and things. Um, so that'd be great. You know, there, there's a lot of interest and it's nice to teach the refugees uh, uh, another trade or something if we can um, to help them in the future. So, hello, how you doing? This is Tino from the Spanish food truck. And this is the big boss down here. <laughs> security dog. Security. Uh, nothing like Trojan. Trojans are a true security dog. He's massive. <laughs> so, <laughs> so. Uh, so, yeah, I, it's, it's coming fantastic. Hopefully next week we'll be able to start putting the program together. Uh, and the following week I hopefully we'll be open. Um, and we'll be running things. You know, we obviously we still got the ongoing furniture to come in, trestles. We would need, we could do with some full-size trestles, but a, a lot of little trestles for these tables. These tables here will go around the walls here. Uh, and I want to build next week. I want to build a, a platform here, uh, about um, two meters high, and for a table and chair to go on top of it, so we can stick a computer on it and a projector. So, and not very big, but enough, you know, we can, we can have someone up there above people's heads showing documentaries and films and stuff like this. That'd be fantastic. So, 
Yeah, it's uh, one hell of a space. Okay, all the best, everyone. Bye.